Good day everyone, especially to Dean Subia, to my thesis advisor, Dr. Ramil Polintan, and to the members of the panel. Before I discuss my thesis, uh, let me first read the Bible verse. So it says here, Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or terrified because of them. For the Lord your God goes with you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. It is from Deuteronomy chapter 31, verse 6. For the Wasayan University Philippines vision, by 2024, Wasayan University Philippines is a Methodist institution of learning that, that fosters academic excellence, innovate research, transformative leadership, environmental stewardship, and healthcare services at par with global standards imbued with social holiness. And for the Wesleyan University Philippines mission, Wesleyan University Philippines provides quality education and compassionate healthcare services imbued with Wesleyan spirituality to produce competent graduates committed to the healing of persons and the whole of creation for the glory of God. For the introduction, Students in higher education are facing learning challenges involving concepts in basic calculus and in applying their knowledge in real-life situations. In accordance with a report by the Program for International Student Assessment or PISA in 2018, the Philippines rank lowest among ASEAN countries in terms of mathematical competencies, which is essential for understanding the basic concepts of basic calculus. The use of digitalized educational tools is helpful in connecting students and providing with them with pedagogical benefits in order to improve the performance in the academy. This study focused on the effects of utilization of modular and computer-based learning materials in learning basic calculus of grade 11 students at one or Liwag Memorial High School, Senior High School, through the use of YouTube and Facebook as a computer-based educational platform in order to access online educational tools. This study is very timely with what we call now as the new normal. My study is entitled Effects of Utilization of Modular and Computer-Based Instructional Materials in Learning Calculus. For the framework, IPO model with feedback after the intervention is applicable to my study, wherein the inputs are the modular and computer-based learning materials for treatment 1 and the traditional learning materials for treatment 2. Both treatments undergone the same pre-test and post-test measures, and for the output is the effects of the MCLM and TLM to the academic performance of the learners. Only those in the modular and computer-based learning materials, which is the treatment one, took the survey regarding the student's experience or the student's feedback. For the statement of the problem number one, how may the academic performance of the senior high school students in basic calculus be described? I have used descriptive statistics as its a statistical treatment. And for the findings, here is table number one. 84 respondents answered the pretest in basic calculus. The result of the pretest was used to diagnose the student's knowledge before discussing the covered competencies. It revealed that grade 11 learners are still beginners and developing in terms of academic standing in basic calculus. Table 1 shows the results of pretests in basic calculus and noted 0% in MCLM from scores 1 to 10. However, 3 students or 7.14% can be observed in TLM which is equivalent in rating as beginning. Moreover, the scores from 11 to 20 noted the highest percentage in two treatments with a calculated percentage of 83.33% in MCLM and 78.57% in TLM. 35 and 33 students respectively are considered to be approaching proficiency. In addition, 0% were recorded in both treatments between the scores of 31 to 50 and none were qualified as proficient and advanced in the level of assessment and proficiency. For the conclusion, Means of treatment studied 17.14 in MCLM and 16.74 in TLM, which shows that both groups were qualified in rating as developing for pretests and were used to test the students just prior to the material being covered in the course. According to Berry 2008, although counterintuitive, the pretests are covering material that the instructor has not covered and that the student is not expected to know. Hence, the adjectable rating result as developing. The idea behind the pretest is to give the students an indication of material that will be covered and the depth of knowledge required. Thus, it serves as a guideline for the topics. For the recommendations, 
consider having a wider scope of respondents in sections of grade 11 of the same school or the other schools inside the division so that the results will be more valid and reliable. For the statement of the problem number two, how may the academic performance of the senior high school students in basic calculus with the utilization of the traditional learning materials or the TLM and the modular and computer-based learning materials or the MCLM be described? In order to measure the academic achievement and levels of proficiency of grade 11 learners in basic calculus, the posters was administered to both treatments. The results of the posters were analyzed using descriptive statistics such as percentage, frequency distribution, and mean to identify the level of proficiency of students after implementing the interventions. For the findings, Table 2 displays the results of the post-test in basic calculus comparing two treatments such as modular and computer-based learning materials, MCLM. And for MCLM, none were classified as beginning, developing, and approaching proficiency, while 16 students were classified as proficient and 26 students as advanced. And for the traditional learning materials, zero students for beginning, zero for developing, six students were classified as approaching proficiency, 30 as proficient, and 60 as advanced. The treatments were exposed in two different learning methods in which MCLM attained a mean of 41.88 being equivalent to advanced, while TLM acquired proficient in the rating with mean score of 34.90. The post is revealed that there was a change in the academic proficiency of the respondents from developing to advance. It was very evident that MCLM showed a more positive result than TLM using analysis of mean scores and frequency distribution. And for the recommendations, the pre-test and the post-test may also be given through online or using digital platforms to practice the use of e-learning materials. For the statement of the problem number three, is there a significant difference between the use of the traditional learning materials and the use of the modular and computer-based learning materials in the academic performance of the senior high school learners? Since the number of respondents is greater than 30 and it is dealing with significant differences, Z-test was employed in the study. As shown in Table 3, the computed value is higher than the critical value. Also, the p-value is less than 0 0.05, which implies that there is a statistically significant difference resulting to the rejection of the null hypothesis. Thus, there is a significant difference among the results of the post-test scores of students within the treatments. It was evident that MCBL has a more positive impact than TLM based on the scores gathered. The results was validated by the study of Pei and Wu in 2019 and stated that online learning could be able to enhance the students' skills and knowledge. It was shown in their study that there is no evidence that traditional learning works better than online. Based on Table 3, analysis exhibited significant differences existed among the progress of the students who utilized online-based tools and those students who did not. For the conclusion, students' performance in basic calculus with the utilization of online educational materials was better as compared to those students who have undergone traditional methods of reviewing. Analysis of the scores between the two groups that revealed significant difference between the mean scores of which with the group thought through the unconventional approach attained the higher value. This implies that the use of MCLM is more effective in providing understanding of the concepts within the syllabus of calculus. For the recommendation, longer experimentation time or longer exposure to treatments may be considered to gather more data regarding its effectiveness. For the statement of the problem 4.1, how may the learner's feedback after the utilization of the MCLM be described in terms of students' comprehension? And the statistical treatment use was surveyed through the use of weighted mean. And for the findings, Table 4 displays the weighted scale of students' comprehension with respect to the suggested stance in imparting online-based tools in academic reviews wherein the average mean is 3.35 
which is under the strongly agree or SA category as described by Sullivan and Artino in 2013. The finding exhibits that various tools in online review provide access to an ample variety of courses and competency-based education and helping to achieve comprehension goals of students by Mahawar and Nanedkar in 2019. And for the conclusion, this implies that the exposure of a student in online-based learning environment has a denotative effect on scholastic approaches across different content and learning types of students. For the statement of the problem 4.2, how may the learner's feedback after the utilization of MCLM be described in terms of student satisfaction? The statistical treatment use was also surveyed through the use of weighted mean. And for the findings, the garnered mean for student satisfaction is 3.26, which lies on the same category as strongly agree. Satisfaction of the students can be defined as a short-term attitude resulting from an evaluation of students' educational experience, services, and facilities based on Weera Singh and Fernando in 2017. In terms of the accumulation of better understanding of the concepts of basic calculus through online involvement, which is suggested in item 1, the calculated value is 3.48, which falls under strongly agree or SA category. Also, item number three, which shows the 2.67 preference of students in studying online than other methods is also in line with A category or agree. This implies that students are in the middle range of possession in the engagement with online tools. Item number two, on the other hand, displays 3.33 weighted mean of the motivation of the student due to the effect of online videos which lies on SA or strongly agree category. And for the conclusion, this implies that the use of video clips for the students in line with the study of Bevan in 2017 allows for more efficient processing and memory recall due to its visual and auditory nature, which appeals to a wide audience and allows each user to process information in a way that's natural to them. For the statement of the problem 4.3, how may the learner's feedback after the utilization of MCLM be described in terms of accessibility or technicalities? Again, the same statistical treatment was employed in this study. And for the findings, Table 6 focuses on the accessibility and technicalities of online-based review tools wherein the gained average mean is 3.15 which fall under a category or the agree category it shows that the students had encountered some challenges in technicalities and problem with established tools the first three items which are shown on the table which center the convenience brought by the administered educational tool have obtained values 2.83 3.31 and 3.05 for items 1 2 and 3 respectively with the given such data students are equipped with technical proficiency to decode the course material. Difficulties in adaptability and advancement of the equipment are the possible conflicts that students have encountered based on the study of Jones, Watson, and Kunar in 2015. In terms of accessibility in item 4, the gathered value is 3.19 which is under the A category. The data indicated that students are highly capable of reaching their demands on grasping educational materials online, which is crucial in nourishing students' competencies based on the study of Phillips in 2018. For the conclusion, the findings explicit that problem-based learning using animation mode and graphics process could help students interpret content correctly and accurately. With the given value, students found that graphical presentation and animation modes have a positive impact on increasing their understanding through visualization supported by the study of Arifin in 2017. And for the recommendation, investigate the other effects of the modular and computer-based learning approach in behavior and psychological health of the students. And for the overall conclusions, as presented in the results of the feedback surveys, the students strongly agree that the distribution and use of online learning materials was helpful, accessible, and could satisfy their needs to attain mathematical comprehension of the concepts regarding the topics in basic calculus. 
Therefore, it is evident that modular and computer-based learning approach has a positive impact to the academic proficiency of the learners. That's the end of my presentation. Thank you and God bless.